You know? When did you have your first money on the street? 16, 17, 18? When I was about 16. Really? Yeah. 16 years old. And it was it your money or somebody fronted it to you? It was my brother Jake's money. Yeah. And that didn't last too long. No. And it, then, was, uh, it was a tough business. Right. You gave people to you gave money to people that had no credit. Right. And those same people, they uh, have a habit of not remembering when they're supposed to pay it back. Right. When when you got older, was it easier? You had better customers. When I got older, I got to I got to deal with business people and money people, and I found out that I made more money with the with the business people that my that I made in the streets because in the streets it was tough to get your money back. You know, the people would disappear. Yeah. How much is the most you ever had out at one time? Out about forty thousand dollars. Yeah. Uh -huh. oh, yeah. Right. Yeah. I made it. I made a living. Yeah. I and and sometimes living. you borrowed it from some guy higher up. I did borrow from some. What was his name? Up. Cicero. No, it was a good, good friend of mine who was a boss in Westchester County. What was his name? You remember? His name was Tommy Milo. Tommy Milo. And he helped me many times. Right, right. Because he knew you always paid him back, no matter what. I always paid him back, and uh, he didn't even charge me. He, really? He was a good friend of that mine. That was nice. He wanted to see me do good, and he didn't charge me, and so I was able to make out, you know? Oh, yeah, good. Yeah. Did you ever have any money on the street when you lived in Florida? Did I ever have any money in Florida on the street? No, you pretty much retired when you got down here, didn't you? Yeah. Retired. Yeah. Retired. How's the cigar? Cigar? Is it any good? Pretty good. It smells good. Pretty good. Yeah. And how long did you have that bar in the Bronx? Or did you have more than one? I had a one bar in the 70s. Right. I think I had it for about 10 years. Yeah. You made out all right? And it was a very popular bar, and we had a lot of parties there, and there were a lot of people that hung out there, and some of them were successful. Right. And the only thing they were successful at was selling drugs. Right. And you used to fill the higher labels with the, with the well whiskey, huh? <laughs> I make sure that everybody got good drinks. If you bought the drink, you got the drink that you bought. Oh, that's good. <laughs> you say that with a little smile on your face. <laughs> you ever have any women in the bar? No. A lot of women. A lot of women. Yeah. A lot of women, uh, and they were after the guys that had the money. Right. And those were the guys that uh, dealt in drugs. Right. And you had your own machines in the bar, too? I had my own vending machines, yes. I had the jukebox, the cigar machine, and the uh, bowling machine. Right. And a couple of pinball machines. Right. You miss it? Do I miss the bar? Yeah. Well, I know that it got to, it got to the point that when I went out to have a good time on a weekend with my wife, the people in the bar were mad when I used to come back. They were all mad because I didn't spend the, the evenings there. Because yeah. I usually livened up the place. Yeah. Everybody liked to drink. That's what it was when I had my restaurant. If I wasn't there, people weren't happy. They Nothing were. was really different, but there was something in the air. Yeah. You know, yeah. yeah. Well, Joe, it's nice talking to you. Marguerite, don't bother him when he's in the john. You know what I mean? Give him a break. Beautiful.